Hello, this is Mrs. Lax, and I want to talk about I want to talk about homelessness, and then I want to talk about slavery. I want to talk about I want to let all you races, and I don't care who, what color you are, black, white, Hispanic, and Indian. I want to let you know from this black woman perspective, I am not your slave. I am not a black slave. I'm not a runaway slave. I am not a slave. I am a real life human being. I am a United States American citizen. That means that I have every right that your ass have, that you are entitled to under the United States constitutional right and the civil rights. At the end of the day, this is not no Jim Crow time. This is not no segregation time. We are not living in segregation. We are not living in no damn Jim Crow where you are supposed to be treated treating me like I am a slave and denying me of services and trying to block and hinder me from any kind of housing services. As a human being, I am entitled to get whatever the federal government is funding these these agency with you are getting federal funds to help anybody that is in a housing crisis you are not supposed to deprive me or deny me of services and that is the truth i was born in mansfield ohio that makes that that defines my citizenship here in the united states that makes me a natural born united states citizen and for me in the state of california which is part of the united states of america territory and it is a part of the United States boundary. That means that I am entitled to the benefits that, that United States citizens are, uh, are, are given, entitled to, just like anybody else. For me to get deprived and to, for me to be denied services constantly, and then for you to watch, you're always complaining about the homeless situation. But when you are depriving people from what they need, you are a part of the problem. When you are depriving and denying people of service, you are a part of the homeless problem. When you are sitting up there harassing the homeless, you are a part of the homeless problem. You are not trying to make the homeless situation better. You are trying to keep people out on the streets. That is not solving the homeless problem. That is not fixing the situation. The purpose is to get everyone off the street. No real life human being should be living out on the street as if they are a dog and a cat. Matter of fact, there is dogs and cat that get treated more better than human being. Since when in the United States have we came to a point that it is okay to see people out on the streets that is a human being? It is okay to see somebody go use the bathroom outside in the, in the in the most inhumane type of manner. Now, when did that become okay by you being a United States citizen in, in America and in the 50 states that the, that the United States of America incorporation owns all that property? You do not own these property. The United States of America owns it. They are the sound and the, and the realtor, the realtor that is on the deed for all the property of 50 states. You don't own it and you will not bully me. I have every right to be here in this country just like your ass. I was born here as a United States citizen and I have every rights just like everybody else. Now you may think because your your Jim Crow mentality and your segregating mentality, you may think that I don't deserve the same equal benefits and rights and entitlements that you do, but I do. By, I, by me being a United States citizen, Citizen, it makes me entitled to it. Now, if your ass can go up in a house and get warm and, and lay up in a bed, I also deserve to be in a house and lay up in a bed. Really, at the end of the day, I don't work my ass off all these damn years. I'm 54 years old. I started working at the age of 14. I was making $2.90 an hour in my at the Washington High School cafeteria in South Bend, Indiana. I started working way before these young people started working. They don't even know what it's like to make $2.90 an hour to start off at $2.90 an hour and you gonna sit up here and play these dang games with me. I have every right to sue if I have to find a way to sue the state of California for denying me of services because I am not supposed to be denied service because I am a black woman and because I am a fat black woman. That's a discrimination and a violation of my civil rights and my constitutional rights.